I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, someone who's annoyed me this year. I'll, I'll show you who. Um, uh, this, uh, this, this person. <laughs> it's uh, Jesse J. Um, uh, not as I initially thought, uh, Hilary DeVay of Dragon's Den. <laughs> after she'd been involved in some sort of horrific vacuum packing accident. <laughs> some sort of cling filmed mystic Meg, if you will. <laughs> I don't like this woman. I, 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 don't, I know nothing about her music. I, I honestly haven't a clue about her music. Uh, the reason she annoyed me is that uh, she was involved uh, in Comic Relief uh, this year. And um, basically, she was the face of an ad campaign for Comic Relief. She was all over billboards. Uh, she was all over uh, print media. She was all over the news. I just couldn't escape her, right? And uh, this was the advert she was in, uh, just in case you, you just jog your memory. Um, Jessie J, basically, she was asking the British public to do something daring for Comic Relief, right? She, she was going to uh, convince the public to do daring things and then get sponsorship to raise money for, for Comic Relief. And the daring thing uh, Jessie J was going to do, she was going to cut off uh, all of her hair. Yeah, I was uh, similarly underwhelmed by that as well. Uh, I thought that's not even the most daring thing you could do with a pair of scissors that big, is it? You know, I mean, try and get those fuckers on a plane, you know, or... Uh, <laughs> Uh, try cutting your toenails after a bottle of red wine, you know, I just... <laughs> it annoyed me. I didn't think it was a particularly daring thing to do, to cut off all your hair. So I, I dug a little bit deeper. I researched Jessie J. What I discovered is Jessie J has been planning on cutting all of her hair off for approximately two years. Exhibit A. Wednesday, the 3rd of August, 2011. Jessie J, she gave an interview to Glamour magazine saying she wanted to shave her hair. You remember Wednesday the 3rd of August, 2011? No? I'll refresh your memory. Uh, the riots were happening. Remember? England was on fire and uh, Jesse came out and said, I'm going to cut all my hair off. And we went, a bit busy right now, Jesse. <laughs> we're trying to put out Argos. Uh, it uh, <laughs> sounds like a great plan, though. All the best with that. <laughs> I think she realised Wednesday the 3rd of August was the wrong time to cut all her hair off. So, so she waited a bit, right? She waited until uh, Friday the 20th of January uh, 2012 where she gave an interview uh, with the Metro. Uh, newspaper is uh, too strong a word. Uh, <laughs> do you remember Friday the, the 20th of January 2012? No, again, I'll uh, jog your memories. Uh, it was the sinking of the Costa Concordia. Uh, the uh, News of the World phone hacking scandal was discussed in an entire nation and, and the Arab Spring was in full flow. Again, the British public slightly distracted by these trivialities uh, and Jessie thought to herself, probably not a good news week to cut all my hair off. So I, I will uh, wait a bit longer. Flash forward to the 19th of July, 2012, almost a full year after initially mooting the idea of shaving all her hair off. By now, the British public were at some kind of boiling point, you know. Kept stopping her in the street, ringing her up, when are you going to finally shave your hair off? And she had to give an interview to Star Celeb News to explain why, why she hadn't yet uh, shaved her hair off. Uh, here's the uh, excuse here. I'll, I'll blow it up for you so you can read it. It's pretty small there. I'm going to announce the charity I'm doing it for soon. It's taken a little while to get the ball rolling. It's not just as easy as, oh, I'm going to shave my head. <laughs> On this point, uh, Jesse J and myself would fundamentally disagree. <laughs> it is just as easy as that, Jesse J, you PR hungry cunt. <laughs> <laughs> it annoyed me, you know, it is. <laughs> It's not very daring, is it, to, to shave all your hair off, you know. For people were actually doing daring things for comic relief, you know. People were putting themselves in, in physical danger, you know, running marathons and climbing mountains and whatnot. Sporty Spice, right? She paddled the length of the Zambezi River, right? That's approximately 1,600 miles long. Now, I thought, that's going to be a major ball ache, even if you are the sportiest of the five Spice Girls. You know? <laughs>